welcome to Wario Factory. Congrats for being high. Okay, seriously, seriously, I have no clue what's going on here. Oh my god, they were right! It's locked! Hello? Ah, you. Perfect. Uh, hey, if anyone gets this message, uh, my name is Richard McCroy, and I've got a job request to your team. You see, uh, our family's on vacation, right? So, I'm afraid we need someone to watch over our house for uh, about a week, I'd say. That's why I called you guys, of course. I heard your queue was pretty good at keeping buildings secure, so it would be greatly appreciated if you were to watch over our house. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong, you know? Well, that should be it. Just don't break anything or make the house a mess and make sure no one does the same. <laughs> Thank you in advance. End message. Hello? You there? Oh, thank goodness. You had me really worried. Why? Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Max Peterson, and I've been at Safe and Security for a few years by now. But that's not important. Listen up. Because whatever you do, you need to get out of there. I know you were told to watch the house over the week because the family went on vacation. But whoever told that to you, I'm sure they were trying to make you fall for a ruse. Listen. There's been reports of that house being very haunted. And despite what that man said, nobody's been living there for years. Alright, listen carefully. Don't try to find the exit now. Wait until the morning. Whatever ghosts are haunting that house could probably try to mess with your head. They could even make you go crazy. Heck, if it's bad over there, you could see the exit as another room or interpret the layout of the house completely different. Thank heavens for the camera you installed around the house. Use them wisely. That pad can only view cameras for a limited amount of time at once. Watch the power meter so you don't have to charge it all up if it dies out. For tonight, just stay where you are for the night. Also, please don't try to move around the house. That could be very, very dangerous. I could come over to the house if I wanted to, but... But what might happen might be worse than moving around during the night. Listen, man, just use those cameras and stay safe in there. You should be at the grand entrance of the house, yeah? All right, now listen up. This is what you need to know. Ghosts will try to hunt you down by wandering around the building. And if they attack you inside there, uh, it won't end well. I remember our crew investigated that house a few years ago. If I remember correctly, there should be a door to your left and one to your right. If a ghost should enter your room through the left, quickly look away to the right of the room. Don't use your camera. Just wait until they're gone. You don't want to make eye contact with certain ghosts in certain areas, understand? Then there's the right door behind the staircase. If someone should enter through that door, I would pull the camera up fast. They can see your face more clearly, no matter where you look. Alright, just stay safe in there, stay focused, and try to find the exit when the sun rises, yeah? 
Alright. Oh, this is very important. If you still haven't found the exit by tomorrow night, do not hide in that entrance for two nights in a row. Or any room two nights in a row for that matter. Choose a different room to hide in tomorrow night or else things could go very wrong. Alright, watch those cams and be careful, man. Good night.
Hello? Edward? Oh, it's you. Good job surviving the night yesterday. I was so worried about you, but you survived. So good job. All right. Did you hide in a different room like I told you to last night? You have, great. So which room? The kitchen, huh? Not bad. However, as you have probably noticed, the lighting in there is fairly bright. So if anyone enters that room, they might notice you pretty quickly. But listen, tonight you'll have to react fast. If I recall correctly, there's an old-fashioned furnace somewhere in there. While we were investigating the house, someone turned on that oven and smoke just filled the room. The fuel in the oven ran out before anyone could be in serious danger from the smoke, though. Hmm. That's what I want you to use tonight. Sure, the room may be large and well lit, but if you let smoke fill the room, it should blind and confuse any ghosts that walk in. You will have to be careful about how much fuel the oven has. However, there should be some spare lumps of coal lying around. Use those coals wisely. Don't waste them. Anyways, keep watching those security cameras and stay safe. Good night.